and today we're gonna do some squatting and some pistols I think it's really important to try to keep your routines and I keep saying that but for me I started training in my garage and I totally started skipping all my prehab stuff so then things start to kind of ache and hurt a little bit and it doesn't make sense if I was doing it at the gym why wouldn't I just do it at home so I think that goes for you guys too if there's something you were doing in classes that your coach was doing and you loved it just incorporate it into your own routine make sure you're still doing your glute bridges make sure you're still doing your bird dogs whatever it is for your activation and stability don't skip them just add them in as your warm-up so that's what I'm doing right now I focus on trying to keep my hips square driving my knee out ideally taking my hand off and then gently leaning forward into a squat position so I'm activating my glute, my glute med, and then also it almost feels like a little bit of traction on my SI joint, which sometimes I struggle with SI and L5. So it feels really, really awesome. And now that I've started doing it again, nothing hurts. So don't skip your prehab. We, I'm getting some sun because it's time to start wearing shorts. I'm very pale, that's okay. But, so we're gonna do some back squatting. My favorite thing to do is actually mix in a little bit of conditioning with weightlifting. I just, I enjoy it a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go five rounds. A 15 or 12 cal squat. Uh, we're gonna use the assault bike. You could do a 400 meter run. You could do a row. You could do a C2 bike, you could ski. You could do burpees over the bar. Anything to get your heart rate up. Stick with 15 to 12, uh, or 12 to 15 reps, or a 400 meter run. And then we're gonna hit 10 back squats. Ascending weight throughout the five sets, up to about a heavy-ish 10 for the day. Now I'll get our heart rate and our kind of breathing, our conditioning, everything going, breathing hard, nice and warm, as we continue to build on and add some weight. So that will be fun. If you don't have a barbell or a squat rack, that's okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go five goblet squats, super slow, into 10 jump squats, into 20 air squats. I had to think for a second, and that'll still give you that same pump, and it's more of the high purchase speed thing, rather than maybe having a ton of weight on the bar. So you can do this whether you have a barbell and weights or not. I can't contain whatever's burning inside I gotta find a way to figure it out I found the answers and there ain't no doubt You got what I'm looking for, uh-huh, yeah Uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah Keep coming on back for more, uh-huh, yeah build up or, or kind of pumping your legs right into the squats also with a raised heart rate so whether you have an assault bike you have a c2 bike you can run whatever it is create a little bit of fatigue get your heart rate up uh, and then it also makes it mentally challenging like every time I hit five to six I'd be like man that was a good set I think I could wreck the bar and it's like no you can get to ten and so I would just stop myself reset my breath rebrace focus on each individual perfect squat even though so the sum of ten felt like forever but just focusing on one piece at a time chipping away to get to ten it was really good, I liked it, you guys should give it a try. Again, if you don't have a bar, I'll show you guys the scale. So if you guys have a dumbbell or a kettlebell and you don't have a barbell, really good, hold it right at your chest. We're gonna go 10, or sorry, five super slow reps. So three seconds down, one, two, three, three seconds up, one, 
two, three, for five reps. After five, drop it right into 10 jump squats. After 10, right into 20 air squats. And that'll still give you a great pump just because we don't have the barbell or the weights. You can still do this at home. Up next, we are gonna do a little bit of gymnastics with some sandbag work. You guys know I love sandbags. I just put out a post about how I think it's the most underutilized tool training-wise. So our workout's gonna be three rounds for time, 24 strict handstand push-ups. If you can't do a strict handstand push-up, you could sub that out for hand release push-ups. Into 16 pistols, so that's a single leg squat. If you're not comfortable with pistols, we could modify by sitting to something, or you could go a narrow, a narrow squat, bringing your feet in. And then finally, eight sandbag over shoulder. So we're gonna take the bag from ground to overhead, squeezing our butt. This in the back squats in the workout we just did, you could do bear hug sandbag squats. You can literally use the sandbag for everything. So it's gonna be a really, really good one. If you don't have a sandbag, you could also do some kettlebell or some dumbbell deadlifts. The main goal is gonna be the posterior chain or some dumbbell kettlebell power cleans, whichever one you, you would wanna do based on the equipment that you have. right now because you go to a competition and you're so used to training in your gym and you're so used to having your squat spot your bar which is not yours but you go to the same spot every time at least I do and now I'm in a whole new space yeah it's my house but everything's new and I feel like when I would go compete at the games or I'd go to a sanctional it's kind of that same feeling it's like well this is what I would do in my gym I'm comfortable in my gym but now I'm on a different floor and it just feels a little bit different and that's kind of how I feel like I am right now with my home and what we've created here but it's awesome I mean it keeps the stimulus changing it keeps it fun and it keeps it different so it's just it's been a really interesting thing for me to notice and it's not good or bad um, but we're making do with what we got as should you guys so for us we've kind of found a little bit of a routine which i think is one of the biggest parts to maintaining kind of your fitness at whatever level that is uh, where we'll get a lot of our the majority of our work done in the morning and that creates a little bit of a window for us to get a workout in in the afternoon and even when we do do that it seems like being at home makes it a little bit slower of a start since you're kind of relaxed and in your own element we're not used to working out especially at high intensity here but i think if there's anything to give to you guys, it's keep your routine and get started. Uh, once we typically get moving and get warm, we actually feel really good and we always feel better when we're finished. So even though you might not be able to go to the gym or you have some limited equipment at home, just start. Uh, keep your routine and I promise you'll feel better when you're done. It was a really good day, feels good to sweat. Again, I was a little slow to start. I think I'm always slow to start, just missing the community vibe and the community atmosphere. But again, when we're done, we feel so good. So I think just get started. However, if you need someone to send you a text message that tells you, okay, it's time to work out, find an accountability buddy virtually. You don't have to necessarily have them there. We will continue though to try to keep bringing you options. So we're gonna keep training uh, CrossFit wise because who knows when a sanctional might pop up. Uh, so I don't wanna stay away from the barbell too much, but we will keep trying to give you guys options that you can do at home. We want to be creative and hopefully give you some new fun workouts that you enjoy doing. And you can also have some times to compare based on what we've done. So stay tuned, we'll keep bringing those workouts. Whether we have a barbell, we'll just sub them out, give you guys some options and make sure to like, subscribe and stay with us. Who knows what's next? Have a good day.